I've heard of other programs like this, but most of them are all geared toward the engineers or it's the final year of the engineer that you finally get to build a project, some culmination for all your work. We've been doing that the whole four years that we've been here, and it, it really does make for an incredible learning environment. The professors are very one-on-one -on -one with the students and individualized with us, and it's more of a friendship with the teachers instead of just a professor, like in a regular, you know, a lecture hall or something. It's more one-on-one. -on -one. You got your different majors in CASA, and then like I'm an ESD, and then there's like four areas that study that you can go into that. Your biomedical, networking, communications, and industrial technology. I plan to work in the dental office as a dental hygienist. Southern was the only dental hygiene school in Illinois that has a bachelor degree in dental hygiene. And um, we perform, you know, cleanings on children at schools and um, visit nursing homes and perform cleanings there and we just get a lot of experience outside of school to get us ready for the real world. I have a really good time with this, especially when we do work in the 737. Our professors and instructors um, push us to get things going and like this plane, uh, we pretty much got it running a couple of years ago and now it's pretty much fully operational. It's, it's great and you learn so much you get a lot of hands-on experience working on like live aircraft like this. The glass cockpit is two 15-inch screens, um, and those screens provide you all the information that each gauge used to provide, and it provides it in one uh, centralized location. Besides that, it also provides um, like a moving map, like GPS-type display. I would definitely say uh, it's a very good um, option that they're providing this now. The club is an organization of students that kind of wanted to go beyond the classroom. The whole point of it was, you know, this is what we do with what we learn. Every concept that they picked up in all their classes, digital, analog, discrete, everything, they applied in the Dog Zuka project. They started looking around at parts. They asked the SIU police department. They donated several old bomb disposal chassis that they could build on. And these principles that they apply is what culminates into that final product. It's a great just build of everything that you learn. SIU is one of the only state schools that offers this program. That's one of the main reasons is because it's a bachelor's degree program and it's got the uh, options for three different um, specializations. You know, you've got CT, MRI, ultrasound, and then you've got radiation therapy. I see it as the ability to pursue different uh, job opportunities and also job security. Mostly we're all really excited about clinicals because, you know, you don't have to take any classes while you're doing it and it's just kind of a real relief to be out, you know, working rather than taking classes all the time. That second semester when you got out to clinics and you actually had a real patient, you know, you had real life scenarios and, you know, you're working with real people that were, you know, they've been trained to do the same thing and you're there as a student, but you're being treated essentially as an equal and you get that real life experience and, you know, just it adds to your education. 